Hey everybody, I'm Case Knight over at I Saw It's 3D Printing and today I wanted to talk about one of our biggest challenges as a 3D print farm and additive manufacturing operator. So as you can see behind me, we have both a 3D print farm, we got Multi-Jet Fusion, one of the largest fleets in the state of Texas, and we've also got SLA on the other side of the shop. But I'm going to do a quick tour and kind of show you where really where most of the equipment and processes actually take place, which is on the other side of the shop. As we're going over there, I'll kind of explain it. So we have about 30 different materials on FDM, about seven different materials on MJF, and SLA, we also have 15, 20 different materials. So it makes things very complex. We can have hundreds of unique models, thousands of individual parts coming out on a day-to-day -day basis. So managing all of that is fundamentally our biggest challenge. On this side of the shop, you'll see the post-processing. We have all of the MJF processing equipment, such as unpacking, depowdering, dyeing, vapor smoothing, and, and surface finishing like shot peening. Now, tying all that together, knowing where all those different materials, all the different post-processing options, and where each part is all along the way is our biggest challenge. So how are we going to solve that? With the AM flow. This is a universal solution, meaning that regardless of the technology that we're using to develop the parts with, regardless of the technology we're using to post-process it with, this will help us tie it all together. So I'd like to dig into this and show you what's under the hood. All right, so over here we have our base model, which essentially has three different components. We have our AM logic, which is the user interface over over there. We have the AM vision and we have the AM sort. And when you combine all of these together, which is pretty much a base package, we get the ability to automatically identify what a part is, automatically provide the documentation or generate the documentation that we need for traceability, and it automatically sends the part on to the next process. So how does that look, work? Let's look under the vision where the brains of this system is and inside there we'll see an array of 10 different ultra high resolution cameras as the part is placed onto the conveyor belt and goes into the center it snaps a, a simultaneous picture from all these cameras at the same time it compares that to a very large database where all of our models and data or order information is stored and it will use that to identify what the part is there's also a lidar system and there's these nice lights to provide even coverage of the part as it's sent through. Moving from there, it'll go down to the sort system and using that information that we had just identified in there, it'll send it automatically to the next process, whether it be dye, shot peen, quality control, or something advanced like Cerakote. So let's see how this works in real life. So right here, I have a test order with just some eye solids parts. So we don't have any customer confidential information being shown here but we can identify where these particular parts came from. So in this case, they just got unpacked. And I can start this batch just by essentially saying where they came from and putting this part on the conveyor belt. You can see as it goes through how quickly it's going to snap that picture and identify what the part is. So here we have all of the information that we need. What's great about this though, is now rather than the technician spending time counting and trying to find documentation, we're having more time spent towards examining the parts. You can see this happen in real time. It's counting the parts for us. It's automatically adjusting that in our MES system and it's automatically sorting it to the next stage. Using a different part with different materials, multicolor, it handles it all. So this is of course great for our operations, but we always have to beg the question, how does this benefit our customers? And in this circumstance, there's three different things that we believe provide value to our customers. First and foremost is the ability to have faster lead time because we're not batching parts up and waiting on additional parts in order to go to the next stage of the process. This allows for one piece flow. Secondly, it allows for greater documentation without adding additional overhead time. We can get digital traceability of every step of the part, every part in every step of the process. Last but not least, it allows us to reduce the cost by having an optimized build and having an optimized process. So there's a lot to unpack here. Obviously we're excited and passionate about what we have and there's a great future for this specific technology. There's a lot of questions you might have, please post them below. 
And of course, if you ever have any questions about 3D printing or if we can help you produce parts, please visit us at our website at i-solids.com.